In this section, we're going to list the list of applicants under here. But before then, let us quickly uh, look at our approach again. What we're basically doing is checking for the existence, as you can see. Um, we're basically checking from here in view. We're basically checking if this if this exists at all, not whether the application is cancelled or, um, or not. All right. So what we can do is to say um, if the status is equal to um, applied. Otherwise, if the status is equal to cancelled. So when we're no longer checking for existence, we're just checking whether it is applied or cancelled. So this sorts our problem. Another way you can do yours is to actually, when someone clicks on cancel, to actually delete the application entirely. You understand? So you use the delete function and just modify it to suit your purpose. As you can see at the bottom of this, there's a delete function. You can just copy the code there and put it in your cancel. All right. So depending on how you want to approach yours, uh, you can just do it that way. So for me, this, this works for me. So the next thing we're going to do is to try and list all the applicants. Now to do that, we go to the view and also we retrieve all the applicants. All right. So we're going to retrieve all the applicants. We just see post. We can just call it post application. Oops. Post application. And... Uh, this sorts a problem post oops what is happening post application okay post applications i like it to be plural okay the, because it's a list of applications so we can do application all right so we're basically looking for uh we're going to use where where post ID post ID is the ID of this post that's all we need to check and um, the ID of this post is this so when somebody wants to view this post we are basically also retrieving the uh, the application and uh, we will pass it to the view so I'll just do this then put a comma here and say post applications is equal to post applications and uh, so this sorts our problem we're passed it to the view so from the view now we can now get a list of this this is a list of uh, people that have applied so if we go to the view uh, right underneath the application buttons we just created so underneath here we'll put a list of all the um, people that have applied so let us quickly just paste it here to know that yeah we have this so we will have to use um, a for loop so we say for this sorts our problem for post applications for post application in post applications so n for And for okay so this uh, sorts it now what we have is to we'll go and to bootstrap and hijack a nice uh, uh, template to use here so in bootstrap we can look for media well if it's not there we can uh, just go up go to the top 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 and uh, click on components then there is media we can media objects we can just use them because um, the local media. I'm still searching. We go to the media object, click, and it brings us here. This is the kind of um, what we're looking for. So I will um, copy one of them. And because that's what we want to use to display the users, list of users. So we will come and um, or paste here all right so from here we can then uh, remove the image for now uh, we don't need user images uh, application uh, does not contain any sort of images for now 
because we are building an MVP prototype. I think this should be here. So I'm commenting out the image parts. The reason I don't want to delete it is that if we come back later and want to add images, we don't start uh, doing some crazy manipulations. So here we are. Um, uh, this is a for loop. And um, it is supposed to give us so a username. So let's take this to be the name of the user the user dot first name so let's see if this works you know why this uh we can assess it with user first name because in the in the in the model we've defined that user refers to the user so if we go to the post model just to refresh your memory inside the post model We've already said that user should pull up the list of users, not post, post applications. We've said that user should pull up the list of users. That's why we can get list of users from there. So uh, let us refresh and see if our code paid off. So it's refreshing. All right, I've done a number of things in your absence because I paused this video now and I restarted it. The first thing I did was in this view page, where we are displaying the button that says um, uh, apply I've made sure that I added some conditions which means uh, the first condition is it should show the apply button if the uh, this doesn't exist which means if this user has not applied before or maybe they have applied before but the application is cancelled you understand so it will show this button otherwise if the person has applied before then it should show cancel application then so the other thing we can do uh, we can see if the application has changed to invited you understand because we want our application to have three three status modes uh, one of which is invited one of which is applied and the other is cancelled you understand then if you go back to the post page uh, what I did was in the post applications where we're retrieving it after we've retrieved it I put this function get so you add this this actually makes the call the call if you don't add this uh, it will just be as if you are assigning a variable to this there won't be actual it will not execute so this get executes it and that works well so then the last thing I did was now to actually loop and display the results so for here here I changed what we had here before we had we used the media object it wasn't making sense so I used sim a simple list bootstrap list so if we go to bootstrap uh, that's come this is where I got it from so if you click on list group this is the sample I got from so I removed this four and left only one and then put a for loop uh, put it inside the for loop so if you had this um, so this is what I just did so inside here I just have a for loop that loops through all the applications and then prints the user's first name so with this and then uh, it there's now a button on the extreme where the 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 employer can invite so this is what it looks like if you come to this place so as you can see this person has applied and can cancel the application then the employer can uh, actually invite this person uh, to an application so I'll put other details like the status of the application here you understand so um, to do that what we can do is um, Right here, I, I I'll just put span and uh, span. So to put the status of the application, we'll just oops. With this span, I'm just gonna put these two guys here. All right. So this sorts our problem. Um, I'll just take the application dot status post application. Dot status and that sorts our problem dot status so this says what the status of the application is so if I refresh and uh, we should see as you can see it's applied so what I can do is to pull it to the left and I'll just add a class that says pull left class pull left this is basic bootstrap code okay so if you're not without bootstrap you should know uh, some of these classes of hand okay. otherwise you can just use your uh, normal knowledge of CSS that's pull right sorry ok 
okay cool then i'll refresh and uh, if it works then we'll see you in the next video all right so we have applied here we have invite here so in the next video we'll just uh, make it uh, properly arranged thank you very much see you in the next video